Do you own a home? If you do, I'm gonna show you how you can increase your net worth by $1 million without spending one single dollar more out of your pocket. Now, the average home in Southern California is worth approximately $600,000, and the average mortgage is $350,000 on that house. So I'm gonna show you, the average homeowner here in Southern California, on how you can access some of that equity that you're just sitting on. When your equity's locked up in your home, it's not making you any money, because guess what? The value of your house goes up the same amount regardless of the debt you have on it. It's not like, oh, this person owes 500,000 on their 600 house, it's not gonna go up. No, there's nothing to do with that. So all of that equity being locked up is sitting there earning you no potential growth in increasing your net worth. So follow me. House is worth $600,000. I owe $350,000 on it. I wanna go ahead and I wanna borrow up to 80% of the value of my property on a cash out refinance. That gives me a new loan of $480,000. Now let's say the interest rates are the exact same. Now mind you, interest rates are probably a lot lower than when you got that loan, but let's play the devil's advocate. Run my new loan at $480,000, pay off that loan, I get $130,000 back in cash. Now my mortgage payment, let's say, goes up about $500 a month. Now, just keep that number in mind, $500 a month. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that $130,000 and I'm gonna put 60 grand down on it on two separate homes using $120,000 buying a $300,000 house. I personally love properties in Tennessee, Texas, Arizona, and Florida personally. So let's say we're gonna buy in Tempe, Arizona. Found two awesome four bedroom, two bath houses in Tempe, Arizona at 300 grand a pop. Put 60 grand down, get a loan at 240. So now I got two mortgages at $240,000. My monthly payment on each one of those mortgages is $1,300 a month with taxes and insurance approximately. Each one of those houses is gonna rent right now for $1,600 a month. Now mind you, my mortgage payment over the next 15 years of owning these houses isn't going to change, but guess what will? The rent is gonna continue to go up every year, but we're not even gonna factor that into this equation. So I just remind you, that's a little bonus for you, right? So guess what? My rent's $1,600, I'm gonna rent for my tenants. My mortgage payment's $1,300. That means I get $300 a month on each property in cash flow. What did I tell you this payment went up by? $500 a month. So now I have $600 a month coming in. I use that to pay and cover that mortgage payment. Now I still have $100 a month cash flow to still go ahead and put it aside just for a rainy day. Now, that house is gonna go up on average of about 6% per year. That's the historical appreciation of that area in Tempe, Arizona. So guess what? 15 years from now, that's 6% appreciation a year. My house now that was 300,000 is worth $700,000 on each property. But guess what? My loan balance, because my awesome tenant has been paying on that for me for the last 15 years, is now went from 240 down to approximately $120,000. So each house is worth 700,000. I only owe $120,000 on each one of those properties. Hear me, my house is worth $700,000 and I only owe about $120,000 on that property, giving me $580,000 of equity in each one of those two homes, what's 580 plus 580? Over $1 million in my net worth being increased. And how much money did I spend out of pocket? What, I did, oh that's right, I didn't. Because my two $300 a month cash flows cover the increase in my mortgage payment every single month. So if you're sitting there and you're letting the equity in your home just sit there and do nothing for you, you're making the biggest mistake of your life. I did not over leverage myself. I still got 20% equity in my property. I didn't put myself in a bad situation that I can't afford my mortgage payment anymore. No, I was smart. This is how leverage should be used and this is how real estate should be used and this is how you can increase your net worth by over $1 million over the next 15 years without spending any additional money out of your pocket.